Hello you, it's Josh here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another tutorial. Today, we've got something that's kind of a little bit different uh, because it's more of like a, something that's happened in an update recently rather than a tutorial, but it's also a tutorial on how to do that thing that's happened recently. So, uh, quite recently, we've had the update of sequences, timers, buttons, and all that sort of stuff, which allows us to do stuff like this right here, which if I just uh, give myself this quickly here, and I can show you a bit nicer here, you can see how we have a nice fountain show where they, they do different things, as you can see right here, and I'll just leave you a second here while I talk about it, and you can see what the sort of stuff that you can do. Um, so what I'm going to show you today is not how to build this sort of environment here. This might be in another tutorial how to do this sort of stuff right here because this is really pretty if you ask me at least. Like I'm, I'm really, really pleased with this. Uh, even though it did take about half an hour just to do this fountain and that's it. But um, I, I'm quite happy with it and you can see how I did this fire, uh, this not firework show, sorry, this fountain show. And it looks quite nice. Now this is... Oh, <laughs> wrong piece. Oh no, I've messed it up now, haven't I? That's... Oh, you bugger me. Right, well, let's just quickly fix this if we can here. Um, <laughs> I guess you're going to be able to see a little bit into how this is done here then, I guess, won't you? There we go. Uh, not great, but it is what it is. Oh well, we've got a sequencer here and a timer that's just hidden under the ground. Now this sequencer here does this sort of thingy like this. And we have these patterns that go on and off and on and off and on and off and etc, etc, onwards and onwards and whatever. Um, now, as well as that, we've got this timer that, that, that sets this off every so often. And what I'm basically going to be doing in this video is showing you how to do this sort of stuff. Not, with, not just with fountains, but also with decals and stuff and uh, TNT, stuff like that. Because you can now trigger a decal using one of these. Um, so say I have the Italian flag. And I want that to turn off every five seconds. I can do that if I wanted to. Uh, that That's now a thing that you can actually do, which is pretty cool, I think. So without further ado, let's actually get on with the tutorial. Now, what I'm going to quickly show you here is, first of all, how to use the sequencer. So sequencer is quite an easy thing to use here. We're just going to use it with a couple different things. We'll get a fountain out here, um, like so, just default snapping, like that. We'll also get a, uh, oh, we'll get a light here. Um, and we'll also get a decal. You can also use stuff like TNT and all that sort of stuff. If you want to know the full list of stuff that you can actually use, then you can find that in the uh, update or something like that somewhere. What, what are we going to, you know, let's do a bit of advertising for the Everything Bloxburg show. Go watch it. It's uh, every, <laughs> every Saturday when this video is out, it'll already be out, you know, go check it out. So, how do we use the sequencer? Now, it's quite easy, we just, when we've got a sequencer, well, first of all, to get the sequencer, sorry, I should probably point out that you need to uh, do a trigger like this. So, you need to build, like, a ride, uh, like this, click on appearance, click on a, uh, sorry, click on a piece that you want, click on appearance, add triggers, like that, and you'll get the achievement, because that means that when this runs past it, th that will actually go on it. Now, obviously, it's not going to work, because this isn't a natural ride. But, oh, I've got to close it, sorry about that. But, um, in re but it, actually, it would work. Now, what we're going to do, where, uh, now you've got all that sort of stuff, is you can have your secret here. You click this add duplicate slash copy settings, and you just need to click whatever you want, like this, for example, this water emitter, and click it here. Now, first of all, what you want to do is, if I'm right, you want to go I, I, off like this, which means it's off, and then when you want to turn it on, you just need to drag this to where you want. So at the start, I'm going to have this turned on for three seconds. Uh, and what you can then do is once you've decided what you actually want, you can click on here and you get all these different settings. Now, first of all, you've got item mode, which is on, fade, pulse, toggle or off. Now, on basically just means that it'll turn on when you do that. Fade means it will fade in. In fact, we'll show you what fade means. It means that, oh, actually, you can see how it's getting taller and taller there. Like it starts here and then it goes up and up and up and up and up. And you can obviously change how much that sort of stuff is. So you can start off at 25% and you can go all the way up to like 250% here like this. You could go all the way from this bottom part all the way up to the top like that. Very, very tall. Bloody hell, that is tall. Um, <laughs> and then as well as that, you can have stuff like Pulse, which does this sort of thing here. Uh, in fact, we need to turn it down just a little bit. Um, we'll just keep that 100%. Just, um, oh, wait, oops, sorry, wrong thing. 
cycle time will set that to just one second here. Um, and then we should see here that it just goes off and on and off. Oh, oh, it may have. I, I don't know. I'm not really sure about the full point. It's kind of confusing me a little bit. Um, let's try that there. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, you can see how it may be pulsed in a bit of that. It's a bit hard to really show it you, but that that's basically what it does. And toggles just turning it on and off, even when it's not, even when it's not on and off. And then obviously you can just turn it off. So that's all the different things that you can do with that right there. Oh, obviously you could change the power at any point. So say you want uh, this uh, at the start of it, you want it to be 250%, but then at the end you want the fireworks to only be like 25%. Then you can absolutely do that. That is totally possible. You know, you can do that. Now what we're going to do is just remove that there because we've showed you that. And it's basically the same stuff with lights. So we've got a spotlight here. We could turn it on. We can even change the color so we can have a red light like this. Um, and we can press play. And you'll see how it now shows a red light when we do that. Now, obviously, if you click on light, you can turn it to off. And it'll be black. It'll be off until you press play. And then it'll turn on. And you can do all sorts of stuff. You can do, like, light shows and stuff. And you can do all cool stuff like that. And again, you've got the same sort of settings here, which I've already just gone through. Uh, you can also change the brightness and stuff like that, like you would be able to on a normal light here with your light here. You can change all this and then you can also change the amount of light. Um, now what you can also do here is use an image like this, an image panel. Now what you can do is you can fade it in or you can just set image. So if I click in here, I've never actually played around with this, so, it's, so I'm going to be working this one out with so as you can see here, you can set image and you can set it. Oh, oh. You can set it to something else. So say we click change image. When I click start, it'll change it to that. There you go. You can see there how it changes the uh, picture to that when I click that in image. Or just click clear. And when it says no item set, it just disappears. So you can basically make it so it disappears in and out. Which is useful for like a uh, sort of haunted house, I guess. And you can also uh, change the transparency, so you can do th this sort of stuff. Uh, say we have the Roblox one. You can then have it slightly transparent, so you can see there how you can kind of see a little bit through it. You can see it, in fact, let's put it even lower so that you can see it even better. So if we say you put that at 5%, you can see there how you can... Uh... Oh, wait, no. Oops. Oh, sorry. If we put the transparency up to 100%. That means it will be completely transparent, and it will just... Yeah. Right, <laughs> 75%. Let's go with that. It'll work. There you go. Now you can see how you can see through it quite well. You can change that sort of stuff, which is really, really cool if you ask me. And you can also have fade image so that it'll fade into that image as well here. As you can see, we have the front one here, blah, blah, blah. So the transparency, you can have zero at the start, and you can see how it fades in. I mean, it fades out like that. You can have it so it fades in, so you can have that at 100%, and that one at 0%. So then, when you click it, it will fade in that image like that cool, right? and obviously you can change the time and all that sort of stuff which does mean you can make rotating um, uh, like pictures and stuff and now you can make animations in the game which is pretty cool although it is a little bit hard to do I would say that now something that we have here is a timer now a timer can be attached to a sequencer and all that sort of stuff but we're just going to show it like this now what you can have is you can have time of day so you can have a uh, it starts when it's midnight or you can start in the morning or any time in the day or you can have periodic which basically means that you can do it every like well uh, every uh, you know every 88 seconds or you can do any seconds that you want all the way up to 600 seconds and this can activate something like uh, you know what let's go with TNT this time seeing guys I didn't use TNT last time so what we can do here is add that on there and ever and then set it to we'll do every once oh god <laughs> every one second there. No, if we turn it up a bit, to about eight seconds, we can count when it goes off uh, in a second. Okay, maybe we'll put it down to like three seconds. So when it next goes off here, one, two, three, boom. There you go. <laughs> so you can set it to every say, a single second like that. Um, and I've, I've not actually played around with TT, but it turns out it blows you away, which is pretty cool. Um, and that's how the timer basically works and then obviously as well as that we've got these buttons here both of them do the same thing so we're only going to show one button here but um i think you can also uh 
You can uh, also set off speakers using them, but we're not gonna do that because we haven't got sound on this right now. So what else are we gonna use here? What else can you actually use? Um, I'm not sure actually. Uh, um, I know you can use something else. I'm just trying to remember what. Hmm. Oh, well, we'll just use something else now and that'll do, won't it? In fact, let's use like a uh, smoke thingy. There we go. So now we've got smoke. We come on this button. Anyone can use it or you can, yeah, choose whatever you want. And there you go, smoke emitter. Um, we'll turn it off. So when I'm holding down this button, yeah, well, no, you've just got to click it. Sorry. Oh, oh no, actually, oh yes, yeah, so that decides how long it turns off for. Say, what when I want the, uh, what I want is when this button is pressed, okay, it'll turn off for five on. seconds. I can do that, and it'll turn off for five seconds, and then in about five seconds, so two, one, it will go again like that. So that's basically how the button works. It's pretty, you know easy peasy lemony squeezy uh, to work out like that now if you want to have a sequence like this um, I'm just gonna quickly run through this again here what well not quickly sorry slowly run through this I guess so you can copy down because this is quite a good uh, setup that I've got right here in my opinion I kind of like it so what we have here is we've just got one two three four five uh, setters off and then you can see that these are, this is the amount of time passed through um, and then obviously you can see oh uh, I've just been disconnected. Hang on, give me a second. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> my internet just died there quickly. Don't worry though, I've connected to my other internet. Yay! It's all it's all fine. <laughs> but anyway, what I was saying before we ended there was, uh, I think, about the sequencer right here. So as you can see, this is basically what my sequencer looks like for these fountains right here. Uh, this is the amount of time elapsed over, and you can see here that all I'm using is on and off, so I'm not using fades or anything, so... You don't need to worry about that sort of confusing stuff. You just need to be on or off, as you can see right here. So this, uh, so as you can see, we go to one second, half a second, two seconds, two and a half. Uh, I'm not going to say it all. I'm just going to scroll through slowly. And you can just pause the video when you need to. Because uh, obviously I'm going to be going way too fast for you to set this all up. Um, so as you can see right here, this is what it looks like. I'm just slowly going through here. About halfway now. Uh, <laughs> how many times did you have to stop the video during this if you're doing it? If you're copying this, make sure to put a comment down below how many times you had to um, stop in between all of this to actually be able to uh, do it all. You know, I'd love to know. <laughs> It'd be a fun experiment, I guess. <laughs> uh, here we go. Almost there now. Uh, and there we go. All the way up to 21 seconds. And then obviously this timer here is just connected to the sequence so and it just does it every 21 seconds like that. Which gives you a lovely little fountain, a like a so. Magical, isn't it? Yes. Um, so, anyway, regardless of the magical fountain of magicalness, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, sorry it was a bit over all over the place with the internet breaking and me trying to work out how to do all of this stuff. But I hope it has helped you at least slightly. Um, and I hope this is actually a good story because... Uh, personally, me trying to work this out, I've, I've tried to watch tutorials and some of them are just text and I can't be asked to read all that and some of them don't really tell you how to use them really very well. So I feel like uh, this was a quite useful tutorial, even for me to do, for myself to work out. So if you have enjoyed this video and it has helped, please make sure to leave a like. You can also check out all my other stuff down below, but except from that guys, thank you all so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in another video. Goodbye.